Hello. We appreciate your interest in our organization. Before you commit to Elucio, we should go over our mission statement for you. Our primary goal is to catch a legendary in our region and to take over the world with its power. We use hypnosis to stop every trainer in our path, so that way our plans will never be foiled. What's going on, Chaotix? It is your boy ChaosMay006 here, and today I will be going over my evil team, Team Elucio. I've already given you a purpose and a backstory for this organization, so let me tell you about how Team Elucio would work in a game storyline. I will be the evil team leader. Well, the version you saw of me earlier. My background will be discussed throughout the post-game from people like the admins of my team that are still out and about after the storyline is wrapped up. You'll find out that I hail from the region of Kanto, and as a child I was never physically as strong as the others, so I focused more on education and knowledge. I was exceptionally skilled in my learning and easily graduated the top of my class, and then I set out on my adventure through Kanto. As I beat gym leaders with my superiority in type matchups, I easily progressed through the Kanto region. I came across one unique gym though, the Saffron Gym. At this time, Saffron's gym was a fighting type gym, known more commonly as the Kanto Fighting Dojo. Now when I was growing up, there was this trainer, her name was Sabrina, and she kept trying to get that gym to be a psychic type gym. Now she eventually won this dispute, making the gym in Saffron a psychic type gym, which really piqued my interest in my schooling days. Now I was happy to challenge Sabrina and get her badge, but I was constantly impressed with her psychic abilities. She didn't desire to fight, and neither did I. After I defeated her, she encouraged me to come train in her gym with my mind. I gladly accepted after I became the champion of Kanto and made sure Lance was able to run the league in my absence. I trained in the Saffron Gym until I decided to find more regions to figure out what else I could learn about this world. Now no one knows how or when I became evil, and I don't feel like discussing it here. Maybe someone will come up with a theory about what caused me to become evil, and everybody will just accept that eventually. In this new, unnamed region, I am the boss of an evil organization. Now you first encounter me in a sixth gym city. Well, you don't discover me, but my wreckage at a trainer school. Now you will begin to encounter my admins around the second gym, having to beat them for trying to steal the Pokemon Professor's research on the legendary of this region but there will be more on that later. After successfully getting the professor's notes, we would begin to hunt down the legendary. You would first encounter me in passing, while making sure there was no tracing my evil deeds back to my organization, by hypnotizing the authorities, making them lose their evidence. You really first encounter me in my gym, which so happens to be the sixth gym of this region. You can find out more about this gym in my Psychic Type Gym video, which I will link at the end of this video. After I am defeated in my gym, I will continue to strive to get the Legendary. Now eventually I will access the old castle, a castle that was used to control order at the region at some point in the distant past. Now I had found out in the notes that the Legendary supposedly was a test subject for the castle's scientists and astronomers. You will encounter me there with my two admins who you have fought before. They will battle you as I make my escape to the underground dungeons, seeking to find the chamber that supposedly held the legendary in it. For Pokemon, my admins will use Pokemon around level 35, like Ninetales and Crobat, Zatu and Stantler, all knowing hypnotic moves like Hypnosis, Confuse Ray, Amnesia, and Calm Mind. Earlier on, they will have pre-evolutions of these Pokemon, if they have pre-evolutions. You will win and then chase after me. As you give chase down the corridors of the dungeons, you will find me in the deepest chamber. The walls shake as you get close, but when you get there, I will be sitting in shambles as the legendary has escaped. In a rage, I battle you. Now since this isn't too much after my gym, I will have a level 35 Quagsire, a level 36 Lucario, a level 36 Alolan Ninetales, and a level 37 Shiny Hypno. These Pokemon get moves like Amnesia and Confuse Ray, Calm Mind, and Hypnosis to resemble the effects of being under a Hypnosis. I will vanish after you defeat me, trying to pursue the Legendary. You can find me again as you chase me to the top of a nearby mountain after beating the final gym of the region. You will find the Elite Four and Champion doing work to try to stop me, but it's ultimately up to you. 
to put an end to my scheme. I will have captured one of the two legendaries in this game. Now I don't have designs for what the legendary Pokemon will look like, but maybe some of you watching this video will make art based off of their descriptions. One Pokemon is based off of brain power and mental ability. This Pokemon would be nice to see as a dark and a psychic type. It would be based off being able to control minds and hypnotize. I was thinking of something wispy to be the opposite of a brawn and muscular stature of a Pokemon. The other legendary would be based off of brawn and muscle, most likely a fighting type, but I don't know what the other typing would be. Maybe it could be dragon or dark to be more beast-like. This Pokemon would be all about physical strength, and possibly maybe even beauty. Maybe a fighting and a fairy type would be cool for this Pokemon. My objective for both versions of this game would be to try and catch the box art legendary and use it to make the other legendary submit to my will, giving me a presence over the entire region. You must battle me again here to stop my impending reign over the whole region, and maybe even the whole world. Now this time my team would be high 40s. Again I would have Quagsire, Alolan Ninetales, Lucario, and my shiny Hypno. And I will add Sableye, and of course, the legendary to use against you. Now you have the ability to pick up the other legendary here, as it will fight to oppose me. And you will ultimately win, and I will be defeated. Now the legendaries would destroy me in some fashion, whether that would be to make me disappear, or maybe even something darker. I don't have all the details of what the team will be doing, just the basic plot points. Now if a game was ever made like this, I'd hope to get some collaboration ideas with what this team would become. I hope you all enjoyed learning about Team Alucio. If you would like to join this team, I will have a document in the description down below where you can pick your starter, and if I ever get merch for Team Alucio, you bet it will be down in the description as well. If you did enjoy, make sure you do leave a like and subscribe to support this channel and also to see some more wonderful content in the future. The support really is greatly appreciated by all of you. A big shout out to Birdkeeper Toby for being the inspiration behind this video. If you want to find out more about his evil team, Team Snooze, go check out the video that is linked on the screen now. Thank you all again for watching, and I'll see you all next time. But until then, I'm ChaosMay006, signing off. Stay safe. Burn it up.